In this video, we show you how to create a house number sign, learn pattern making, we demonstrate the indirect mesh method, grouting more than one color, and so much more. Begin with a blank document. I find it handy to have the rulers visible top and side. Type your numbers or letters. Next, play with a couple of different fonts to see what you like. Make the numbers larger. Increase the font size. I make a copy of my numbers on the same document, then try a different font and see what I like best. Bold often works best for our purposes. The pull-down menu may stop, in this case it's 72 points, I can override that by going up to the box next to where the font is named and I'm making it 400 points. The numbers measure 4 inches tall. Now I'm going to print these two numbers and see how I like them. The numbers are indeed 4 inches, the size that I want, and now I'll go ahead and print the other numbers. I can just tape them together and voila, I've got a pattern. We have our font selected and printed. I know I'm gonna do the numbers in this frame, so, but I'm not really sure how I'm gonna make my background yet. So I'm just gonna cut this down a little. You know, we know they fit. And so I'm gonna work indirectly because that'll give me some time to decide what I'm gonna put in the background. And I like to use a board, especially for people who don't have a dedicated studio space. This allows you to put your work away when you need your table for dinner. First, we're gonna tape our numbers down. Then we're gonna take a piece of saran wrap or any clear plastic you have around. And then our last thing is to put some mesh over the top. So now you can see, I can see through to my design, work over the top of it, and hopefully by the time I have these numbers done, I'll have decided what I want to do in the background. I wanted to talk about the mesh a little bit because this is special mesh, mesh made for working with cement-based product. You can't just go to the fabric store and buy some mesh fabric. You need this mesh, it's called AR mesh, which means alkyde resistant, so the cement won't eat it. talk a little bit about assembling the easy frame and it comes with a really nice aluminum brushed aluminum frame and a substrate suitable for exterior use we just need to get it all snapped in here and then all the hardware comes with it and I'm gonna start by going from the back with an awl you can use you know a Phillips head screwdriver or whatever you have and getting my corner holes in and this is going to allow for the hardware to hook in all right now we're going to take these t-nuts and put them in from the front and i'm just going to start with two and our screws go in from the back you can also do this just with the Phillips head screwdriver, just using a drill because it's faster. We like these T-nuts because they're flat and you can just work right over the piece. So you can see I have all my four corners in and now I'm just installing a French cleat or a easy bracket on the back. I'm going to be using this particular frame for address plaque and I feel like this is a more suitable attachment for outside. So uh, with the brackets, you'll get two. 
one attaches and then the other one you'll attach to where you're mounting it and it just slides on like that to hang. I'm gonna just tag team this out with my partner Bonnie while she shows you how to apply the numbers to the substrate. So this is one way of doing it, which I can't believe Kim consented to me doing because she actually said, you're right, Bonnie. <laughs> so she drew where the numbers go. They're on this piece of mesh. We put them on the mesh because it was easy. We don't have a fully flushed out design, but we wanted to get this video made this year. <laughs> I'm gonna turn these over. I have some mud, some thin set already mixed, and I'm just gonna put it on the back of all these tiles. I could, you know, outline and, and do all kinds of additional artwork, but I'm feeling like I can really control the thin set and clean it up much easier versus me troweling a whole bunch of mud all along that board. The mesh method is a really helpful method to just move forward on projects if you're not 100% sure about something. And these numbers are pretty um, labor intensive. So it was nice to just get them out of the way, knowing I'll figure out the background tomorrow. I have these guidelines, right? So I kind of match up the top of my five and the bottom of my five and bottom of my five. So I didn't have to do a ton of extra work. Um, I'm going to clean up the extra mud that has squished up in between the net because this is concrete and I need it to be nice and flush so that other tessera can go up against the numbers. And when are you doing this, Bonnie? Right now? Uh, right now. Because if I don't do it now, this will dry out and I won't be able to clean it up. And it's been about 15, 20 minutes. So this is kind of what I call elephant skinned up. So it's at a nice, um, still pliable, but I can squish it and make it do what I want consistency. So all I'm doing is going with, like this is a nice flat tool. I can actually cut away, but I'm just gonna clean this up and then we'll be ready to finish up the rest of this project. I'm pretty happy with that. And now I'm going to move forward on the background. I want to use these cool retro vibe ceramic tiles and a white background in vitreous glass tiles. Make the colorful ceramics really pop. And I'm just putting a little bit of AR mesh tape over the top of the T-nuts. It gives the thin set a little something more to grab onto. Oftentimes it's really hard to decide what grout color to use. So today I'm going to show you a little trick I use sometimes. I have these three different colored grouts and they're still in their dry powdered form. And we'll just dump a little of each one on to see kind of what we feel works best. Remember we already grouted the numbers. Now you have a little bit of an idea what color you might want to grout. I'm kind of feeling like the light gray is going to work the best mid-tone between the black and the white. So that you know the light gray that I'm using is called DeLorean gray and it's available at Home Depot. Okay we're all ready to grout our house number sign and uh, we already decided on some DeLorean gray. Now we have the numbers all taped off so this isn't uh, one of those cases where you can just smear everything with everywhere. You have to do it a little bit more gently. And I'll work around the numbers first and then move on to all the other spaces. I'm just about done with this one. I'm just gonna tidy it up a little bit and let it haze over and we'll be back to it in a few minutes.
and we're all done with our house number sign i hope you enjoyed the tricks that we did with the different colors of grout in our easy frame all ready to hang and i think my daughter will love it and remember life's a mosaic you pick the pieces <laughs>